Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at another Akasa fan. The Apache Black 140. And it's another S-Flow fan. Costa's not very famous in the U.S., but uh, I guess in Europe it must be. It does come with uh, black mounting pins, rubber pins. And this is what it looks like. So I'm expecting similar performance to the, uh, the Viper R. Let's find out. No LEDs. PWM, sleeved cable. Look at that spinning so slowly. Nice. Quiet. Shh. I do hear some rubbing. hear that same fan uh, air tearing sound that I heard with the Viper R. Kind of noisy. Not too bad, though. I mean, up close with my ear right next to it, it sounds very loud. But when I back up just a little bit, the noise gets a lot quieter. I'm going to say that this is not a little bit under 3 millimeters of water for the pressure. I was right, 2.76. My hand is so accurate. It's these darn manufacturers that are messing with me. So this is um, you know, good for um, a case, good for air cooling. And if you've got one of the fans that are not too dense or too thick, um, this will be fine for water cooling as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the specs. The Akasa Apache Black Super Silent S Flow Black. Again. Uh, AK FN062. I'll get rid of that extra black. It's bothering me. All right. So it is an expensive fan. Um, $31.44. That's pretty high up there. Now, it's a powerful fan. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't have weird harmonics or anything like that, but 31 um, yeah, that puts it on par with like Leon Lee and Fantex and stuff in terms and Corsair as far as price is concerned. So that means it's a little bit overpriced in my book. CE and RHS certifications made in China, 140 by 25 uh, millimeters and 50,000 hours of life. Two-year warranty, 155 grams, nine blades, 125 millimeters between the holes, 600 to 1,300 RPMs, 89.55 uh, CFMs or 151.79 uh, CMHs of airflow, 2.76 millimeters of water for static pressure, 12.5 to 22.19 decibels, 41 centimeter long cable, for the fan and uh, no daisy chaining but it does have sleeving and it's a PWM connector hydrodynamic bearing 12 volts 2.52 watts 0.21 amps and it does have uh, indicators for direction of rotation and flow turns in a clockwise direction you get four 
uh, screws and four rubber pins. I think you get both. I know you get the pins for sure. I don't know when I when I go through these boxes, I sometimes I, I misplace the the screws. So it may have been that there wasn't there were no pins, and maybe that there are pins. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't say. So that's it. Thank you to Grindler, a.k.a. Lawrence Abrams, who is the owner of Bleeping Computer, for consenting to allow me to put my results in text form on Bleeping Computer's forums, as well as linking to my videos. Please visit Bleeping Computer, support them, make use of them. It's, they're a valuable resource that's been around for 20 years, and they deserve support. They have lots of resources. Um, you can learn about cybersecurity from them. You can get help with uh, malware on your computer. You can get help with all kinds of stuff. They have a, a range of volunteers uh, who help people who come there for advice, and they're very knowledgeable people for the most part, and some of them are very, very, very helpful. Old Todd has been uh, very helpful to me over the years uh, that I have asked for input on uh, things and so thank you to Bleeping Computer. Thank you to the volunteers on Bleeping Computer. Also, thank you to my peers on other tech forums who are so kind as to provide me with input, uh, suggestions, feedback, and so on. Uh, I really appreciate it, but my greatest thanks goes out to Bleeping Computer because you are my text home, I guess you could say. All right, thanks also to all my viewers and subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.